this all on my own. No, I know not no Superman. What's that? Fucking no. Totally. Basic mountain. Yep. Fucking lava dart. I don't know. I don't know if you can like Lava Dart's just so good against it. It's pretty good. It's it's probably just like the best card I've ever seen that. Why? Well, there's two cards under it. You're just gonna go up to four cards in hand. So you make a decision of like you just make him you know make the decision of pitching his hand for less cards. Or sweat sweat. Yeah. Like give him every opportunity. To what the fuck? I just think that's. What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's a... It's a thing, I guess. I guess he's playing like Mono Red Torben or something. Tier. Oh, you're playing the other Nomers, man. Playing the other Nomers. I think he's, he's actually not, not supposed to be in the deck, so I guess I loaded up the wrong deck. I don't, know, I, I don't think that one. Yeah, I have. Better. I have the wrong deck. I don't think that one's better than the other Nomers. Either. You don't think he's better? No, no it's, I think the the Corset Nomers is better than the fucking new Nomers. What? For you, yeah. For me? Yeah, for, the, for that deck, it seems better. For this deck? Yeah. Why? I mean... So what, uh, like... It gains me life, bro. Really... What's what? It's, it gains me life. Sure. Like, that's probably gonna just win me the game. Dang, I, mean, I thought I had... Like, in this specific matchup, sure, maybe. Did you think that like when that comment came out, like it was going to be uh it was like that uh, four color pile, right? It had, like, oh it was a pile. Had so many ways to trigger one for that I'll treat up like a couple fetch lands. And there's like 
it feels more just like triggering landfall on that one. You're just already. Fucking flame of Keld. What a douche. Did he still have that lava dart in the yard? No, he just he just used it. He because it it dealt three. It was a lightning bolt. I'm gonna get blown the fuck out, Vince. Oh, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna, it's gonna, gonna be bad. You're gonna shock your mom. Um, it's gonna be so shocked. It's so shocked. It's like I can't believe, I can't believe you've done this. It's, um, oh fuck! I can't believe you've done this. I'm gonna have to block if he attacks. You want the, the double thing? Is that uh, the third story? It Basically. it adds two to any red source that's dealing damage oh. to me. Well, I also, I mean, like, do you need to block this turn? Yes. I guess like, you won't fall. Uh, yeah, I guess we oh, okay. uh, Well, now I don't need to block. I don't think. Well, I mean, he has mana blockers. Well, <laughs> but he'd have to like draw something, plus have like a bolt in the hand, right? Oh, okay. Is it just too much to ask for an another land? Is that just for this deck? Can... Yeah, absolutely. Fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do good at Risen Reef. He's got, he got blockers for his, uh, his I got blocks. And I'm not sure. Discard, Bomek, Hurrier, Bloodstain, Mire. Well, the Soul Scar Mage doesn't have haste. Wait. Do you get Risen Reef? Because, I mean, Omnath is just dead, right? Because it, it has to block? Or is, well, is I that can block a Swift sorcery? Spear. I'm saying, is it only instant of sorceries, or is it everything? What? The Flame of Keld. It's any permanent to a player. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh, to a player, not to... Not to anything. Yeah. So, I mean, what, that's... I mean, you have to block the bad one, bro. I'm right? dead. Oh, yeah, yes. You're super dead. I mean, I was, I was just looking, like, I'm pretty sure you're, you're just dead. I'm just dead. Straight dead. Crash through is one hell of a card. Yeah. Who would have thought first first uh, match of the league play against Mono Red Flame of Keld? And I'm playing the build that I didn't want to play. But you got you got some offense. 
and I and I thought I was playing a certain build, so I could have tutored for Smoke Braider. I could have played turn one Flamekin, turn two Smoke Braider, but I thought I was playing another build, so I didn't do that because mm. I thought I didn't have Smoke Braider in the deck. But you do have Smoke. But I do have Smoke Braider in the deck. Don't you always have Smoke Braider? Uh, I didn't for our new Thick Boy build, but that game just rehashes why I want to have it in the deck. Hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. Against to five. That's, uh, that's no bueno for him. Scrimmage. He probably broids a Braden for this matchup anyway. A Braid is quite the card. It's a hell of a card. Oh, it was everywhere when it first came out. But, uh, we're, we're a card that I haven't seen in a, in a long time in modern. What's that? Do you remember Electrolyze? I was just thinking about that card today. Oh, yeah? Yep. It's so bad right now. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately. Just like, you know, there's just no real reason to have it anymore. <laughs> so many other cards just. Or better. Better. Plus, you know, affinity is not a thing anymore. I do. I mean, I'll, I'll always love me Electrolyze. You love you some Electrolyze. You're just, you're just a blue-red aficionado. Would you really say aficionado? Yeah, I think you're a big fan. I, I am quite the fan. Blue, red, teamer, most fun colors. Yes. yes. But you, you know, the, the second they unban Splinter Twin, that deck's coming back. What's that? It's twin. I mean, I'd be playing fucking Twin immediately. Oh, yeah. When they, You'll they be going unbanned. back to back Twin. Swapping it between blue red teamer might try Grixis out. Um, You'll be swapping. That was so much 
I said, some, some of my favorite games were just... I mean, I don't know, I always loved the control uh, matchup. Supporting out the combo. Yeah, you do love you some control. Yeah. Well, I'm saying, like, playing twin and then playing against control. Like, I loved that matchup so much. I guess part of it's just, you know, they probably assume the combo's out, which it is, but they still have to play around it. Fandiliastic. I can do this all on my Thank you, Big Monkey, for the follow. Honestly, think about it. You know how that one year they had the uh, the no ban list modern event? Not like yes. rolling. I was thinking if they ever did that again. Bring a uh, teamer twin with Oko and Uro. Oh, Broko? Yeah, dude, that would be fucking sick. Like, what makes twin? I think you just better. play against that mirror all <laughs> goddamn day. That sounds fucking horrifying. But, like, what would make Twin a better deck? Just adding in Okos and Uros. <laughs> you you, just, you cut the Goifs for Okos and Just Uros. cut them. Yes, yeah, you, you don't need Goifs. You don't need that shit. Them. Get that trash out of here. Plus. Wow, he I, just does I, nothing with his mana. I was like, I wouldn't even be playing Pestermet. I would just be playing, like, some Exarchs, Bounding Krasis. Burrows. That could be fucking great. Like, how, how do you even... Oh and, oh, and you get Ponder, too? Oh my god, that's fantastic. How do you lose? How can you possibly lose? How could you possibly lose when you have just... The horde of team of mistakes. Oh, and you. I didn't even think you get Red and Six in that deck, too. You do love you some Red and Six. Red and Six is one hell of a card. And four color Omnath. I mean, Field of the splash, Dead. We're not splashing white in our. Fucking teamer twin. Sure mistake. you are. You splash white for on math. I mean, now we're just in a whole different deck. You know. We're we're just playing four color control at this point. You know okay, it's worth we'll, it. Okay, we'll make it five color control because Astrolabe would be legal. Wow, he just discarded his hand. He just discarded a smash. How do you feel about that? He uh, didn't want to lose to the. Rexy Metamore? Yeah. Going balls deep. Gotta kill our birds. Oh shit. Making the ultimate sacrifice. That's what I'm going to fight Lavador. Oh, he doesn't have a Lava Dart? No, he doesn't have a Lava Dart. He does oh, not have a Lava Dart. That would be hilarious with the uh. He could have a Lava Dart now. Ooh, Graph Digger's Cage. I mean. I mean, You're shutting off your thunder. Do you have a skeleton? Oh, he has lava dart, though. He could very well have lava dart. How do you beat lava dart? Uh, he's tapping out right now, it looks like. 
Lightning Bolt. Target the Thunderkin Awakener. That makes zero sense. That makes no sense at all. That is the least sense made ever, Vince. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess... He just, he should have just bolted this, the Skelemental, like... What is... I guess his, his thought process of the Skelemental will only hit once. And... That way, he... You probably, you probably aren't attacking with the, uh, the Thunder, and that way he just gets it from the off the board. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's... Sounds crazy. real fishy to me, Vince. Like, I don't think it's a great play, but I mean, I guess I can find it. See what lava dart. Best card against you. Why is he using that? Sweet. Oh, he used that because he gets the Flame of Keld. Buff grade. Pick up. Wow. We've got a board. Oh, he's getting risky. Frisky. He's getting a little frisky. Alrighty then. Getting. That's a good question. Probably just Nomnath. Why don't you just get Skelly? Because he has a Lava Dart in his graveyard. Well, I guess, uh. I guess I do have a Soul Stoke, though. Well, he also can't cast Lava Dart. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You done fucked up. I. D I done fucked up. You done messed up, AA Ron! God, man, I was playing around that lava dart so fucking hard. I think it's deep, John. I played against that card, uh, white a bit of times. Torpor, okay, that's cool. Yes, uh, Risen Wraith. And Vince, if it wasn't for you, I could have punted this game away. But didn't you already punt it? Now I couldn't possibly. I guess you need to get I have to. I guess you can't really do I guess you don't talk all upon that. I don't. That is something I do not do. He's gonna have uh, Metsuka second, right? Metsuka? Yeah, like, uh, 
If you're like, yeah, yeah. Uh, if the player's at exactly 10 life, then it does 10 damage. But you have to be exact. Exactly. You can't be up. Can't be, it can't be up, up or down. It has to be exact. That's the funny part about that card, is it does nothing. Just straight. Yeah, no, like the, the, the text on the card literally says. This card does nothing. No, it, do, it doesn't say it does nothing. It just says if the player is at a. Exactly that, it's really yeah. Apparently. Yeah, you would. I mean, you're totally. It doesn't say anything if they're not a <laughs> I think our deck wants us to scale events. Little blue black control? Oh shit, this is this is wheelhouse right here, Vince. Blue black with opt. But you see he's playing opt and So if he is playing blue black control, he's playing it wrong. Because you don't want you, you don't want carpet in that. Well he's playing Esper Ops. Oh he's playing Esper, okay. So I mean I've been wrong before. I said if you were playing. is tanking on discard opt and force of negation force of negation does not seem very strong <laughs> snapcaster opt seems fine I mean he just took a lightning skelemental to the face I don't think he's feeling very confident right now Vince uh... Yeah, but I mean, like, you have to assume if they... I mean, how tilted are you when you get hit by oh, a lightning no. skeletal? Oh, that was end step. That was end step. That was end step. Yeah, that was end step. Come on. I, I thought that was just... Oh. That seems wrong. What? I, th I thought he just didn't do anything and then on to his main phase. Mm. But that doesn't seem bad. Cryptic command. No, not cryptic command. Oh, that, that, would seem that seems <laughs> subpar. Is he just, is he just taking it again, Vince? He just is he just going to eight? He's just going to eight, Vince. So are we just playing Thunderkin how plus Lightning Skelemental next turn? Oh my well, I want to know. Vince, how do you how do you be an Esper player and just take two lightning skeletal hits to the face in succession. Uh, how do you how do you allow yourself to do that? He just wants to snapcaster. To snap snapcaster opt. That's all he wants to do. Uh, he has to have something. He puts it to the top. So I mean, maybe that's the cryptic command. He did a miracle terminus and put a snapcaster on the bottom. <laughs> Oh, he's getting in there. All right, here I think we risen reef and then thunder can. Or do you think we should just go for lethal vents? He has something. 
Yeah. I think you gotta start with the rest of I agree. Eight something out and then you can push it. You can, uh, you can like pass your resume you push your uh, Yeah. Yeah, maybe he just is sitting on fatal pushes. That's probably what he is doing. He's probably sitting on. But like, I don't know. I don't know. He topped with his opt. He topped with the opt, and then he drew a fresh card. A fresh boy. It was a fresh boy, and he didn't play a land, so he has three spells. So now I think he's he's pondering whether or not to do something with Risen Reef. Okay, so I'm sure he's killing the Thunderkin now. Yes. Yeah. Huh? You have to. You have to, Vince. Like you're you're not taking a third hit with the Lightning Skeletal. No. As an Esper player, you you just have to hang up the towel if you did that. I mean, he There's the cryptic command. So that's probably what he topped. Um, honestly, no, 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 no. Sense to just let the him attack with that, and then just, 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 and then just bounce the, the lightning skeletal with uh, th with uh, with cryptic, right? Yeah. yeah, just let him attack and then bounce the skeletal. I mean, we just have to cast this, right? Yes. Yes. All right. He's probably got something where we want one of these. Well, this looks like a snap keep. Is it? Oh, uh, like funny, funny jokes. No, oh, this actually looks pretty good. Yep.
This looks like a wrath. Nope. This looks like a snapcaster block. Or not. Okay. He has a Teferi in play. <laughs> that he does. That seems pretty good for him. Yes. You also have a battlefield full of one power full of one power creatures. Hey, you don't say that. I mean, but it's true. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of the filter lines. Yeah. Well, he had a Jace, too, on the battlefield. I saw that. Got to brainstorm twice with the Jace. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound good for you, either. No, but... I mean, I guess he's just digging towards a Wrath. <laughs> Got alone, he's just like, plus the fairy. Main phase draw, two with Archimedes Charm. It ain't no thing.
What are the chances the scale mental actually uh, connects? <laughs> Fairly low, I would presume. It's gonna resolve, though. It's gonna resolve. <laughs> He's just tapping out for cryptic. Oh my god. Does he not? Oh, okay. Aether Ghost. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good, too. That's fine. It's like the best removal spell in the format right now. Oh, fucking spike bellows. Yeah. Oh, just to get it in the graveyard. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I guess it does draw that too. I'm sure he liked that, uh, that trade. Snapcaster Aether Gust. Oh, I guess what, well, you have the two sanctuaries? Yep. Oh. This could be worse. Snapcaster Gist. Black, black. Fatal push, fatal push. Fatal motherfucking push. Fatal push, cling to dust. Eliminate. eliminate yes I would yes I would Honestly, something I just don't understand is why people keep trying to make Esper control work in modern. I win the match! Hooray! But I feel like if you're playing Esper control, what, you're splashing black in your- like, you're either splashing black in your blue-white deck, or you're splashing white in your blue-black deck. Both of those decks just seem better without the splash. Yeah, I don't disagree. <laughs> Fuck you, deck. In this hand has a game plan. <laughs> it certainly does. Esper. Fuck. Interesting. Now we can get a turn two Thunderkin. <laughs> that would be pretty good. I mean, if you draw anything other than a land. Well, you know we're gonna draw a land. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, they'll draw more lands. Yeah. Do you think he's playing fairies? Do you? Probably. I don't think he's playing control. Just straight blue black. Just straight blue black. Oh, you know what I mean. Do you think he's playing anything spicy like Drown in their lock? I mean, probably. That card is insane right now. I mean, that card is gas, right? 
I mean, have you read that card? <laughs> have you? Yeah. The card's insane. That's why I play four. You can't try and lock this. Well, not this turn. Not this turn. Unless he, uh, actually he can if he thought scours you and then drowns it. He can. Not while it's on the stack, though. No, no, of course. No, of course. no, 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 of course. No. <laughs> I mean, oh, is this the oh the brazen <laughs> borrower? It, he just borrowed right. it for a second. To borrow that for a second. To borrow no, actually, or not to borrow? Actually, he he didn't borrow it. He he stole it for a second. Hmm. It's a petty theft. Touche. He's not cast brazen borrower. Well, con fairies confirmed. Yeah, I think so. And his brazen bar were starting to go down. All the reserves. What's he going to do now, Vince? We're a flashing brazen borrower, of course. Of course. Of course. What else would you do? That's a good question. Can Billion click you? Make your skelly? You could thought scour us. I'm not playing thought I'm not playing thought scouring fairies. No. no. He's definitely fairies. Yeah. Inquisition and brazen borrower? Incoming fatal push. No. He's just he's just casting the brazen borrower. There it is, Vince. Told you. You tried to tell me. One lesson. I barely ever do. I I gotta play around this lava dart. There's a craft <laughs> Should just listen to you more often, Vince. Maybe, we'll, maybe you'd win more. <laughs> Guaranteed. Oh, well. He's going on the aggro plan, Vince. Hey, gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I mean, yeah, totes. He has Crypto Command backup. He does, yeah. He's gonna he's gonna make it so we don't deal too damage to him. Okay. I don't think that's correct. No, definitely not. I mean, come on, Vince. I'm gonna flash in the uh the four drop in the spine click. Oh, the Spells? stutter? Oh, now we're gonna spell stir sprite your bolt with the other spell stir sprite. I know, I'm about to get fucking blown the fuck out. Don't oh, please have the other one. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, that would have been. Yeah. 
He drowned him. Oh, he is playing drown in the lock. Why didn't he counter the bolt? I guess either way the, the, the spike dies, yeah. Either it's way the spike dying. dies, yeah. I guess that's probably... Probably. So you don't flash in the uh, the one mana flash elemental that uh wow oh, fuck exiles a creature car uh, card from the graveyard. Or are you talking about the spirit flash that draws a card? Oh, I don't fucking know anymore. Fancy I was trying to make I was trying to make something up and I don't even you just don't even know. What's going on? What is he doing? Yeah, he's gonna damnation. Fall Shinobi. <laughs> Fallen Shinobi. So I can cast Namers, Locust of Namers. Without paying its mana cost? Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty fucking And kill your Risen Reef? <laughs> and kill my Risen Reef, yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> Yes. No, fucking fallen shinobi. And he has a bop out. You're so dead. Vince, Wait, he I love how you're always on our side. Never. This deck is sweet. And he bounces brazen bar so he can petty theft something else next turn. I love it. And got a little Muto Toots. He did have the crypto. So how are we being this hidden shinobi? Uh, that's a good question. Probably just not beating it. Does he block the shinobi and then bolt it? Yep, that is the plan. Oh, he's always got like, a tar pit and a mutable. Yep. Uh, that's... That's gross. And a fucking fetch land? You can put it on the tar pit. And you can activate the mutavolt and put a counter on that one too. Oh my god, the synergies. Omnas better in his deck than it is in mine. You're right. He has more elementals in play than you do.
If we get like a thunder can we can st still win this game. Oh, called it off the top. Do you win? I think I win. I mean, what Thunderkin or uh, Skelly is a seven? He has to block, and I'm attacking for. I'm attacking well, for he, eleven total. Well, he blocks the. He can block. He can, if he blocks this and this, he's still taking. That's the most damage he can prevent, and he's still taking seven. Ooh. Oh, the sack of the century. How does it feel? It feels so, like, great, Vince. It feels fucking great. To your own card, and then still just... We played to our outs, Vince. Luck sack off the top. I mean, it had to be a Thunderkin, too. It couldn't have just been a Skelly. That's so funny. That's so funny. You prevent the two there, and then he still takes the two from there. Then. He still takes the two. Vince, he probably thought there was no way he was losing that game. So unfortunate for the hero. I know. I'm kind of waiting for, like, tilt messages. Is he the hero? Is that is that what you're saying? <laughs> you, you just now get that. Vince, sometimes it just takes us a, a second or two to process. Okay. Yeah. You can see it. Yes. That was pretty good, though. I stole the armor. Yeah. I enjoyed that. You were a big fan of that. I'm not just a great card. Sure. There are no vials in this version. There are no vials in this version. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's controlled one of the top to uh, one of the most played decks in the. Uh... Yeah, this literally looks like the exact same list that that guy had. Yeah. Yeah. It's very J snappy. Push up, snare, logic knot, beam charm. Archimedes charm and Esper charm. Oh, the guy we played against last round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two gusts. There's the eliminate. Even complete with the uh, the sunken ruin, the one sunken ruins, and the two mystic gates. Oh, there it is. Get two fallen shabbies. I'm only playing two dragons. You like fallen shabby? Hey. I mean, I didn't. I never really thought anything about it. Hmm. I mean, it looks really good there. Are they playing, uh, what's that enchantment called? Bitter Blossom? Yeah. Well, this list has three. In the main? Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, kept our masked vandal in for such a card. He's gonna, he's gonna get you with the, the uh, the one sideboard Kalidus in this game. Kalidus is a hell of a card. Oh yeah. You love you some Kalidas. Did I ever tell you about the first time I actually played with the Kalidas? 
No, I don't think you did. Why don't you uh, apprise us of that story? So it was uh, Oath of the Gatewatch, pre-release. Sure. Doing sealed. Uh-oh. I opened a Kalidus. Yeah. And for, it was four-round event. And for the first three rounds, I proceeded to cast Kalidus on turn four every single game and won. <laughs> The card's I played against gas F. fence. It's like almost unbeatable in limited, turned <laughs> out. Yeah. And then I uh, I proceeded to play against Dave Ross in the finals. And I you never him. saw it once. I beat him, but I never saw it once. He was cutting it to the bottom of your deck. Oh, every single time. It was funny. I had a uh, I had a nice little combo with um, it was one of the vampire allies and another ally where it was like. When the vampire becomes tapped, it drains for one, you gain one. Mm -hmm. And then it was with another ally where it was like, tap this and another ally. And you gain two life. So it was like, I'll gain three, you lose one. So you get to a board spell, so it's like, all right, I'll, I'll just drain you out eventually. <laughs> one of these days. I mean, it got there. White Black was really good. Especially if you, it turns out if you have Kalidus pretty good he's pretty good he was uh pretty pricey for a time mm -hmm. it also just destroys combat because we're just like all right these two guys trade and then i make a zombie and cleans gets bigger and it just eats your car eats your dudes every turn or like I kill your guy at instant speed, now I have a 2-2 two -two to block another one of your dudes, and then I'll get another zombie. Yep. And then I can stack this and make this guy like 5, 7, 9 power life linker. Which is just actually ridiculous. Unless you have like, I don't know if there was just like a destroy target creature spell in Oath of the Get Watch Limited. You would have loved that. Oh, dude, I I would have 100% bounced that Risen Raven. It's basically better than drawing a card. It's a time walk. I mean, that's the thing. It just time walks you at that point because you just. You have I mean, what else am I doing? Yeah, you're casting Risen Raven next turn. <laughs> like, you get a trigger off of it, sure, but you're probably going to get a trigger off of it anyway. Probably. I mean, is the, is the elemental deck capable of playing elementals? <laughs> That's the question, I guess. Yeah. Do uh, I have I'm... elementals in this deck? Yeah, d does the elemental deck have elementals? Yeah. TBD. BDV. I mean, right now you have one, it's not. It's just not doing a whole lot. Well, see, this does something. If it was see, yeah. yeah. So we are playing elementals in this deck. That's confirmed. Confer I mean, yeah, we are playing elementals. The bird is, however, not an element. Not, it's not, no. No, it, it enables elementals, I, I would say. I would I argue. Could, uh, I mean, he might, he might like, petty theft. The yeah. yeah, he could, yeah. But then we'll just cast it. And we'll probably get another wisdom reef with this flame pen. Well, that would be very bad for us. Uh, you think... You I might have like mana leak. I'm just thinking like make you tap out for it for this thing. Cause that's yeah, spell center. I think he's. Oh, oh yeah. I guess. Yep. There's spell center. Okay. I mean, you can you can bolt the, uh, the yeah. sprite. Spell Stutter Sprite, the Lightning Bolt. It'll be pretty good. It'll be pretty good, Vince. 
One might call it a blowout. And then you can play Spite Bellows. Spite Bellows to kill a Bell Slayer Sprite. And get another so trigger. At instant speed. Correct. Yeah. Wait, you gonna know, like, cling the dust a thing here? You gonna drown the bolt? Gust the Risen. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I, however, probably would have let the um the trigger. Well, all right, no, no, that's not. Gusting here is correct. Wait, oh, yeah. Honestly, would it have just been right to gust the lightning bolt? It's a permanent. It only took its permanence. Like so it's spell. Oh, spell or permanent. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been better to. I would have gusted the bolt. Because what? Because what? That means that this guy gets countered and then. You have a bolt on top? No, I, I definitely I bottom the bolt. Oh, yeah, yeah, So, yeah, you bottom the bolt. I mean, I guess this way he gets the Risen Reef off the board. Oh, no, oh, yeah. He gets so the Risen Reef off the board, and I can't tutor for another one. Yeah, yeah I, I just left the, the Risen Reef on top because that's what I'd get anyway. Yeah. And now I'm going to get man leaked. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's. Aethergust is just so fucking good right now. What's that? Aethergust is just so good. Yeah. Yeah, that card's insane. It's an instant speed time walk, Vince. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's exactly what it is. Do you know the feeling that you get when you're playing against Amulet Titan? <laughs> like, have on Giant and slam a, a prime time, and you're just like, Gust. Especially, like, when they only have, like, three mana available. <laughs> and they summoners packed it for it. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Gust? Nope. One of my favorite, thing, favorite things that I've done to an annual player is when they summoners packed and have just enough to uh, pay for the pack the next turn. Yeah. And then I just like cryptic their bounce land. Uh, cryptic. He's like, uh, go. Like, and I'm dead. Like, look at that. He just time walked me. <laughs> Instant speed. Yeah. I mean, you put it on top, right? I put it on top, of course. Like, I need that card. Dude, this deck playing two or three gusts. Um. Probably like, has two gusts. probably like so Imp probably Gust snapcaster. and gust Snapcaster too. Gust. Oh, and now he's forcing me to fucking search. Fuck. Oh, there's a pretty good. Oh, it's a hell of a card. Now we can't have Vesper Lark. This deck isn't playing a Jace? What the fuck? Do I cast Spite Bellows? No. <laughs> fuck, man. You want to just get time walked again? <laughs> well, I'll put it on bottom. Sure. Well, I mean, he's just gonna, like, snap dust at her man or something. Instant speed, petty theft. Oh, he would have just fucking petty thefted the. Uh, he would have time walked, walked it instant speed again. That's exactly what he would have done. No, that's so good. Pretty good. Why, why aren't we playing this deck? Seems great. Because we just crushed a game one. I mean, you didn't crush a game one. You <laughs> got you got the one card from the top deck that was going to win you the game. From that position. Why are you attacking into that? Because I'll bolt it. Bolt the mutable. The. Oh, the target pig, whichever. 
That's not good for you. What? This. Snapcast Gust. Or Cryptic, that works too. Cryptic's better. Bounce the Snapcaster. Well, then you bolt the Snapcaster. Well, yeah, but he doesn't know I have bolt. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't think it's good to bounce the Snapcaster in that position. Sure. Because, I mean, he, he knows you play bolt. He doesn't know I play bolt. Always oh, getting frisky. He's getting a little frisky. <laughs> Swing for seven? Pretty good. Jesus Christ, Vince. What? <laughs> Leave my son alone. Well, it doesn't look good for our hero, Vince. I don't know, I think he's in a pretty good position. <laughs> Such a douche. <laughs> I don't know. I, I got I nothing, know. bro. I just got Look, nothing. I'm sorry. I, I just tend to like pretty much every single opponent's deck better than yours. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Our deck's fucking sweet. I mean... It, it does put Lightning Scalamental into play. We don't know what the, uh, the last card in his hand is. I don't think we do, Vince. I don't think we do. It's probably just a snap here, no? And then I think it will just like snap push your guy. Oh, just touch snap push. Push snap push. Oh, he's got the slick boys? Yeah, I think there's like two swords in the deck. Well, that is a uh, card that's going to get Snap Aether Gusted. <laughs> or Cryptic. Or Cryptic. <laughs> so I guess the last card in his hand was a Cryptic Command. I guess so, Vince. So I like me Cryptic Command, okay? You love you some Cryptic Command, Vince. I'm sorry. I thought this was America. <laughs> you need to take out the other Omnath because it's better if he's better for him if he shinobis it. <laughs> yeah, I like Fulminator Mage. He has Tarpets and Mutabolts. Yeah. And he doesn't have Renin Six. He does not have Renin Six, no. Th those are two colors that are not in his deck. I'm gonna go get some water, right? Uh, I'll just play it out. Yeah, just play it out. Yeah. Look at this hand. This is a pile, ain't it? Yeah. Kind of loses hard to Aether Gust. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. When do we not lose hard to Aether Gust? Like, really, when do we not lose hard to Aether Gust if we had to turn one birds? I mean, that's... Well... I think that's a good time. That's only when a creature 
This guy does play really slow, maybe we can make the game go long. Hey, that's good. That's real fucking good. That is, uh, pretty dece against the fairy deck. That is exactly what we were looking for. Ah. Spell snare. Spell snare. <laughs> Oh, he has two copies of Damnation on the board. Oh shit! Does he? Well, this this list does. What's what's this guy's name? Mike Crow. Mike Crow. Oh, this list is uh, Brivenix. So it's not the same person, but it's probably the same oh, another one. Ooh, collective brutality. Card. Oh, you don't go for the Fulminator Mage? No. No, I think I just... He... He knows that that's, this is the best card in the matchup. And that's why he's tapping out for it. Mm, I see. Yep. So now he's super behind. Now if he has a black source into damnation. Those are three threes now, so it's nine and six, so it's fifty. So he's down to two. Jesus. No wait, that's not right, that's not math. I can't fucking do math, apparently. You can't do math. It's like 10.30 at night. That's my excuse. Sure. I'm gonna tap out for Damnation. You're gonna play fucking... Thundrakin. And slap him back. Oh, Toad's gonna slap back. Blood Chief first. Oh, look at that. It's just, oh just like we drew it up. Well, he's going to Aether Gust it. Well, we're going to bait with the Risen Reef, of course. Of course. He can't counter events. Oh, he's just F6. He's fucked. Well, he is fucked. He can't counter it, but he could have. He could have still either gusted it. He could have still either gusted it. Yeah. And then we would have drawn a card with our Shaper Sanctuary. Look at you, three and zero right now. I'm telling you, Vince. This deck is this deck is going places. <laughs> Even if it's the wrong deck we wanted to queue with, we're still going places. Hey, what's up? Sorry. What? My bad, Kale. How dare you? I can't do this all on my own. Loki Iron Cross, thank you for the follow. Well, this looks like a snap. We always like to do the max greed play. So speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, little burn? Of course, you got the foil mountains. 
course. Really mean Why didn't you play the skelly? Uh, I think I should have. <laughs> I, yeah. I look away, I'm like, oh, he knows what to do here, and I look up and there's a fucking risen reef. I'm like, that was not the correct play. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not. I'm trying to exhaust his resources as fast as possible in this matchup to win. Searing Blazer guy. Let's play all So let me take four off of the Skelly. But then we go to two if we cast Skelly. And we're just dead. Yep. Yeah, we run in. We're gonna go grab water. <sighs> Alrighty then. Why, yes, I will. Vomit. Oh, this really isn't much better. I mean, you have skellies. Yeah. Oh, well, this doesn't look good. No. Well, we're pretty fucked. Yeah, I'd say so.
Americans push the world of your life with convenient and easy to use that makes you ready to use Zelle in the Citizens Mobile app to split the cost of a pizza with a friend and an extra slice. Pay for your cauliflower cravings with your digital wallet and easily lose mobile deposit in the world. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 3 to 17. What a game. What a game. He throws three cards in here. Ugh. And this is where it all takes a turn for the worst. Yep. Thanks for always being on our side, Vince. Hey. I was on your side for the other. I was not on your side for the other three ma matches. No, you were. weren't. You weren't. You were not. When You're I actually right. try to be supportive, you lose. Okay. It's a. I'm testing a theory. All right. You weren't supportive when we lost. Well, no, I, I said you were dumb for not making the skelly play. Yeah, I was dumb I for not making the skelly play. Much. I was. I was dumb. But I feel like if I just overshadow you with negative attitudes that just makes you play better because you want to show me that this deck is better than I think it is mm. that's just a theory that's gotta be it game theory oh he's playing Yorian Yep. Could be literally anything. Literally. You could have Heliod combo, it could be just like Niv to Light. It's probably just Niv to Light. Yeah. I mean probably. I mean, he chose black with Utopias, bro. Who chooses oh, black yeah, yeah, with yeah. Utopias, He's bro? Uh, yeah. I didn't see what he... Live to, Niv to Mystic. <laughs> Niv to... I mean, Stoneforge Mystic does not... Uh, synergize Look, abundant well. growth, come on. But Stoneforge Mystic doesn't synergize very well with... Uh, yeah, does it? No. Because it's a single color. Yeah. And it gives and artifacts. So colorless. Yeah. You know, there's that. So now this forest taps for black and any color. Yes. Maybe I should actually check what he got with. Got sort of fire and ice. Oh, what fire and ice? Okay. Yeah, so far. That's pretty good against you. It's not the worst against me. I mean, pro red is very strong against your deck. Agreed. I'm pretty sure all of your creatures are red or blue, <laughs> with the exception of bird, like your mana rocks and mast vandal. Okay, sure, sure. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Like, Ooh, besides your man, he ditched the feast in the He wants the Sofi. I can also Shriek Maw the Stoneforge. Did you get a Shriek Maw? I did not, no. Well, that was your first mistake. Should have known. Well, you knew he got the sword. Huh? You knew he got the sword. I turned one flame can. Oh. Yeah. What the fuck? What? What, Vince? What did we do this game? We turned one flame can, got a smoke braider, we turned two smoke braidered, we turned three lightning skeletal. Okay. I was just confused as to so that we played it on turn one. Turn four and Omnath. The sword has protection from Omnath. 
What the hell is this? <laughs> Fucking Kaya's Guile. It's pretty good. Hey, that's, uh... Not mine. That's, uh... It doesn't kill a Stoneforge. Niv miss it. <laughs> wait, wait, see what he gets first. I don't give a fuck. I, mean, I don't want to just... give him the satisfaction. No, he he's not... I know, honestly, Vince. Like, I know. No, but so like... Honestly, I know. it probably would have been a good idea to just let him cast it just to... I see know. Cast. I'm sorry. Just thought a, a player of your magnitude would like to... I was tilted, Vince. God no. damn it. No, what's in his deck. So he's playing four Kyle's Guile. Yeah. Which is. Which what? Pretty good. It's pretty good against you. Yeah, Kyle's Guile is pretty decent. He also has uh, your favorite turn one, two mana Planeswalker. You sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's in there. Bring to light for it. Utopia's Pro. He had a second turn to Utopia's Pro. I mean, turn one Utopia's Pro. Oh, oh, oh because it's 80 card deck. Yes. Now that he has his, his mana acceleration, one of his eight mana accelerations. And you already know he's gonna have the Kaya's guy. Oh. I guess he needs. Oh, he can't cast Kaya's guy. But Nomers. Going for the Risner to get value or just trying to kill him with the Skelly? Uh, probably get value with the Risen Reef.
I guess that does give him this turn to kind of do what he wants because he knows he knows what he's coming next turn. Get Ryan to hand. Interesting. Is that nothing else? A doink. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good night. Let's go. It's eleven o'clock. Kale, I'm in the middle of streaming. The fuck out of here. He has nothing else. Ooh, giving him time. Now we have a lot of things we can draw. Land Thunderkin. things we can draw. I mean, just a bolt does it. I think we only have one more bolt left in the deck. Fuck, man. I do love you, Yorian's creature type, though. Huh? You, I do like Yorian's creature type. It's a bird serpent. Yes. We think we might be in trouble now, Vince. Mm -hmm. Might Don't be looking at the three-two. Yes. We could like Omnath with a land. I'm just worried about getting verdicted. That's really the only thing I'm worried about. Well, I mean, it get the verdict gets rid of Yori and it leaves you with a dude. Yeah. Um, doesn't put him in a great position if you have Thunderkin or uh, Scally up the top. Okay. That's a, it's probably a good start for you. Okay, at least least I get to draw a card. Why, well, yes, I would like to draw a card. Ooh, Namur's Locust of Namur's if I hit a land off Risen Reef. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh my god. Great sequencing what by our opponent. <laughs> Kill your dude and then take your top deck. Fuck, man. Oh. just makes a fucking Nomers next turn and goes hard. Fetch land, right? Yes, yeah, fetch land. I would have attacked with the Risen Reef. I really want to get... Yeah. There's no way in hell he blocks with Valky. But he just blocks with the Orion, right? And goes to one. Oh, sure, 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 I guess. Yeah, he just lets the other guy through. That's right. No, he... Yeah, I guess. Oh, man. Fuck, man. Well, at least he can't get Mystic Sanctuary with the Witch of Teeth. Just 
Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, that's... That's pretty dumb. And it's the pro green one, so you can't even block with the bird. What else do you have, dude? Fucking seriously? Batter skull? It's pretty good. Fuck, man. dead am I he just puts everything on your end well if he does that he does that mm -hmm. I think he's just gonna attack with the germ like that no no like especially since you're just tapped out he just buys back a fetch land plays it cracks to get the mana and yeah. moves the equipment to your end Swings for 10. God, fuck, man. 